Well, if you're a fan of any cooking show or competition, you know that they're always talking about making basic foods more gourmet. Mm -hmm. And a man from right here in Maryland decided to put a chef's skills to the test when he asked her to create tortellini using fast food ingredients. Am I optimistic? I mean, no, she seems capable. I'm sure it's, del I'm sure <laughs> you're it's delicious. You're so nice. You're always going to give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Are you so? Would you try that? Just do not mess with my McDonald's french fries. That's right. Leave them as right. is. They are perfection. <laughs> well, it's July 11th, which is also 7-Eleven. Oh, so yes. a very special day for the convenience store. <laughs> Just putting this together now, Cena. Mm -hmm, okay, me too. so I loved Slurpees as a child. Right. Now they just don't quite do it for me. I know. I need like I a large agree. ice cream cone, <laughs> a little Slurpee. That's not going to get the job done. <laughs> I co-sign that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Marty is getting sea legs today. He sure is. Well, in life, it's not how many times you get knocked down that counts. It's how many times you get back up. That's right. CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road with an inspiring story of perseverance from man's best friend. We can't get enough of Dexter. No, we could watch him walk all Literally. around town all day long. What a guy. I know. So inspiring. And for your Monday. Come on yes, now. The we, message to take away exactly. start this week. Exactly. We love that. We need that <laughs> message. <laughs> It's, it's been, been a, a while, minute, yeah. <laughs> but I will say on the 4th of July, mm -hmm. one of the kids that was around us, she could have been in a talent show for blowing bubbles. Oh. Very skilled. So, yeah. <laughs> there's an display. art to it, isn't there? There, there mm -hmm. seems to be. Well, coming up on WJZ at 9, we check back in with Marty. Mm, we are talking mocktails. You've probably heard of dry January, but what about dry July? Yes, so it's a mocktail summer, and who better to show off some of the tasty drinks than the mac... Well, it's a story about connecting in unexpected ways through the wisdom of a big panda and a tiny dragon. Yeah, these characters were created by an artist who actually used his own experiences with despair to turn them into a message of hope and forgiveness. Roxana Saberi shares his story for WJZ. Amazing oh, messages no. and artwork. Yes. Just be your authentic self. It's best for you and everybody else. Yes, mm -hmm. I will happily take Panda's word for it. I know. <laughs>